It's that time of year when you could be forgiven for having a case of the winter blues. It is cold, it's very grey and it feels like there's very little daylight. For some though, it's more than just an inconvenience. An estimated 2 million people suffer from seasonal affective disorder, which can cause serious depression. Martin Stew has been to see one company's solution to keeping sad at bay. During the winter months, a third of us in this country leave the house in the dark and come home in the dark. This train will move off and then come to a, a sudden halt. With half of us not even leaving the office to eat lunch, we can go days without seeing the sunshine. And that can have a profound impact on our health. A light like this will basically approximate certain wavelengths that you would normally receive from the sun's light. Lily Bernheimer is an environmental psychologist. She believes exposure to certain light can prevent seasonal affective disorder, a condition which last year contributed to 9.6 million lost working days. Changes in how much light from the sun you're receiving affect your circadian rhythms, and so people tend to get kind of lethargic, depressed, um, craving carbohydrates, weight gain can be associated with it as well, uh, just like you'd imagine an animal who's going to hibernate and sleep all winter long would be. It's estimated 7% of us have seasonal affective disorder, a more extreme version of the winter blues. Symptoms tend to become more acute throughout the season, starting in October with a difficulty waking up, lack of energy and increased appetite, and peaking in January with a decline in libido, withdrawal from friends and family, and depression. Generally speaking, you just kind of feel like you're running at 50%. Elisa McNally is a sufferer. She's been testing the new lights for the office group. Now that we've had them in for the full month, I have to say that it has had a positive effect for sure. We've got them in our office and even for the clients that we have on our first floor as well, where it's just a big co-working space and they've noticed it as well. We've had some really good feedback on it. When you stick it on, it's, uh, it's very bright uh, and you notice it, but after a couple of hours, you, it, 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 you settle into it and, and it, I think it makes a little bit of a difference. So early feedback is positive, but with each light box costing £20 a month to hire, Office managers may want to see more evidence they work before making the switch. Yeah, they might, might they? Do you think they'll be rolled out further? Well, it's difficult because the science isn't completely proven. It does seem to be that a lot of people agree with it. And it's interesting, I think, to look to Scandinavia. Obviously, there they have much shorter days during mm. the winter because they're further north. And where we've got about 7% of people who have got this SAD uh, is about 10% in Scandinavia and there is where this technology is coming from and they have these things called light cafes so in the winter people will go in and basically sit in front of a giant light just to try and get that sort of boost to their morale so whether it works or not I'm not sure the people there seem to be relatively convinced. So we could just have the giant light of the sunshine and we wouldn't need these special lights any, any sign of that coming? Well it would be lovely wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> we're, going, we're going to get some glimmers of sunshine tomorrow afternoon but make the most of them because I'm afraid Friday and particularly Sunday Ugh. are looking very windy, very wet and very unpleasant. But tomorrow afternoon is slightly better.